talking about the uh, You're Not Alone project and the nine principles, pr principles that honestly made this country great. Um, I didn't pull these out of the air. I, I've, I've read so much about our founding fathers in the last few years. I've brought, brought some of them from scripture, some of them from the Boy Scout manual. You know, they are honestly, they are the principles that are common sense, and they have worked for thousands of years. And I want you to know, this isn't a partisan thing. This isn't about the donkey or the elephant, liberal or conservative. This is really, these principles are things that we all agree on, and they will help us solve the problems and have our voices heard. Pro part one of the project has been the nine principles, and they're outlined at glenbeck.com. If you believe in at least seven of these, email your photo to we surround them at Fox News. Com. Now, step two. We're going to add 12 values. And here are the values. Honesty, reverence, hope, thrift, humility, charity, sincerity, moderation, hard work, courage, personal responsibility, and friendship. These are the 12 values, coupled with the nine principles. And I'm telling you, we can solve any problem. You know, our, our problem right now is... Um, we're looking to Washington to solve everything for us, and they're, oh, we've got to bail all these banks out, we've got to do this, we've got to do that. We do, we're making decisions so rapidly right now, and we're not pegged to any principles. We're not pegged to any values. You know, if you, if you would define the problem that we're having, what would it be? I think the, the problem that we are suffering from is, is greed and envy and a lack of honesty. So how do we solve that? The values and the principles will solve everything for us. We can figure out anything. Reverence. Do we have real reverence in America anymore? Do people actually, are they quiet? Are they listening to the small, still voice ever? Do you ponder things? Thrift. That was Benjamin Franklin's, one of his biggest things, thrift. Do we do that? My kids have actually dropped toys. I started doing this last year. Drop a toy and they say, what, what, do, you, what do you do? Or they break one. So we'll just get another one. No, we won't. We'll fix it. Or we won't get another one. Are we thrifty on anything anymore? We live in a disposable society. And it shows in the way we treat our environment to our stuff. We just get another one. It's time to change that habit. I'm just looking at some of the other ones. Personal responsibility. My gosh. I'm responsible for me and you're responsible for you. We'll help each other out. But I'm responsible. And you know what? This goes all the way to the biggest problems that we have. Everybody's blaming Madoff or the bankers or Wall Street or Washington. But you know what? You know who ultimately is responsible for everything that we're going through? Us. We the people. It really is, in many ways, our fault. Because we've unpegged from principles and values. We're going to cover all this and a lot more on my radio show tomorrow and then back here tomorrow night. By the way, you can find an affiliate by going to glenbeck.com. From New York, good night, America.